Hello and welcome guys to your reception. This video is all about the ICSE 2021 Geography Board Question Paper. In this video we are going to discuss the reduced syllabus for Geography, the question paper pattern of the Geography Board exam and we will also mention a few tips using which you can prepare for this subject and maximize your score in the examination. So do watch this video till the end and if you like it, do hit the thumbs up button Share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel Reception. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin with the reduced syllabus for geography. Over here we are going to discuss the removed portions from topography and theory. We are not discussing the removed portions from map pointing because many things have been removed from map pointing. It would have taken a lot of time. What I have done is, I have put a link in the description box below from where you can check the reduced syllabus. Talking about the reduced syllabus of topography, four topics have been removed. First, six figure grid reference. This is a good thing only because many students face problem in finding out six figure grid references. Second, few landforms have been removed which are hill, valley, ridge or water divide and escarpment. So these landforms have been removed from your syllabus. Then interpretation of conventional symbols. Now I don't know why interpretation of conventional symbols has been taken out from the syllabus because for majority of the things you need to know what the symbols signify. So it is my suggestion that you learn all the symbols and do not go for not studying interpretation of conventional symbols because for drainage pattern you will have to know the symbols for identifying the type of settlements you will have to know the symbols also for identifying the types of communication and the types of transport you need to know the symbols also for man-made features and natural features you need to know the symbols so it is my suggestion that you study all the symbols and indirect distance Indirect distance was the distance that we used to find using strings, I mean the road distance. We use strings to find the distance and then we used to measure the string. So that thing has been removed. Only direct distance is there in your syllabus. So these four major things have been removed from the topography syllabus. Now we move on to the theory portion. In theory portion, reduction has been made in four chapters. First, mineral and energy resources. In mineral and energy resources, bauxite has been removed, natural gas has been removed, hydel power that is Bhakranangal Dam and Hirakud Dam has been removed, tidal energy and geothermal energy have been removed. So these portions have been removed from the chapter mineral and energy resources. Next, agriculture. From agriculture, Types of farming in India has been removed. Food crops, from fruit crops, millets has been removed. From cash crops, oil seeds, jute and coffee have been removed. Then we have industries. In industries, from agro based industries, silk has been removed. And from mineral based industries, Bilai and Vishakapatnam plant have been removed. Then we have the last chapter, waste management. From waste management, impact of waste accumulation has been removed. So guys, it is safe to say that you can not study everything that is mentioned over here. Because everything is individual only, there is no connection between the theories. So it is safe to not study everything that is present over here. But for the topography part, I will suggest you that you do study all the conventional symbols. So guys, that was all regarding the reduced syllabus for the geography board exam. Now we will move on to the question paper pattern. Moving on to the question paper pattern of the ICSC 2021 geography board exam. This is an 80 marks question paper and you will get two hours to solve the whole thing. You will also get additional 15 minutes to read the question paper before you start writing. So full marks 80, writing time 2 hours and question paper reading time 15 minutes. The question paper is divided in two parts. 
पार्ट वन थर्टी मार्क्स एंड पार्ट टू फिफ्टी मार्क्स लेट्स बिगेन विद पार्ट वन पार्ट वन थर्टी मार्क्स दिस इज अ कंपल्सरी पार्ट एंड यू विल हैव टू अटेम्प्ट ऑल दी क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर यू विल गेट क्वेश्चन वन ऑफ ट्वेंटी मार्क्स फ्रॉम टोपोग्राफिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज टोपोग्राफी सो क्वेश्चन वन ऑफ पार्ट वन विल बी फ्रॉम टोपोग्राफी एंड इट विल बी ऑफ ट्वेंटी मार्क्स Now we have some amazing videos uploaded on topography. You can check those videos out, and I'm sure that those videos will definitely help you. The link to those videos will be in the top right corner and in the description box below. Then you will have question two of ten marks from map pointing, the river map of India. There will be ten pointings of one mark each to give you ten marks. Now we also have some amazing videos on map pointing. The link to those videos will be in your top right corner and in the description box below. You can check those videos out; they will surely help you. So, guys, that was all regarding part one. You will get questions from topography, question one, twenty marks, and you will get questions from map pointing. That is question two of ten marks. Moving on to part two, the theoretical part of the geography paper. Part two is of fifty marks, and this is where geography becomes very very easy. Why? Because each question in part two is asked from either a single chapter or from a group of similar chapters. Let's check it out. You will have to attempt any five questions in part two. Each question is of ten marks, so five into ten gives you fifty marks. Question three will be from climate. Question four will be from soil. Question five will be from natural vegetation. Question six will be from water resources. Question seven will be from mineral and energy resources. Question eight will be from agriculture, and by agriculture I mean all the three chapters of agriculture. That is introduction to agriculture, food crops and cash crops. Question nine will be from industries. That is both the chapter of industries, agro based industries and mineral based industries. Question ten will be from transport. and question 11 will be from waste management out of these nine questions you will have to attempt any five to give you 5 into 10 50 marks now why is it so easy over here because you can only study 6 to 7 chapters and you are sorted for part 2 by studying only 6 to 7 chapters you can easily score 50 out of 50 in part 2 of the geography exam Now over here many students ask me that what chapters should i prepare to maximize my score well let me tell you that my preference is that you guys study everything because everything is very important over here but looking at it from an examination point of view i'll tell you the preference that i prefer i prefer the chapter climate the chapter soil natural vegetation water resources mineral and energy transport and waste management now why did i select 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 questions because if you just study five chapters and if you face any difficulties then you will lose out on marks but if you take two chapters extra and if you miss out on any question you can leave that question all together and move on to the next question so it is best that you prepare for at least two questions extra so that you face no problems during the examination so this is my preference and we have already covered all these chapters that i have mentioned over here we have covered climate of india we have covered soil we have covered natural vegetation we have covered water resources we have covered mineral energy resources we have covered transport and we have also covered waste management i'll link all these videos in the description box below do check them out they will definitely help you so guys that was all regarding the question paper pattern of the geography exam now we will move on to a few tips using which you can prepare for the exam and maximize your score moving on to tips using which you can maximize your score in the geography exam first let's talk about some tips that you can use while writing the paper for part 1 first 
गाइज यूटिलाइज अबाउट थर्टी टू फोर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ योर टाइम इन पार्ट वन एंड नॉट मोर देन दैट यू डोंट हैव टू डू क्रिएटिव राइटिंग इन दोपोग्राफिक क्वेश्चन एंड यू डोंट हैव टू मेक योर मैप वेरी ब्यूटिफुल फॉर द मैप पॉइंटिंग क्वेश्चन यूटिलाइज ओनली थर्टी टू फोर्टी मिनट्स एंड दैट विल बी इनफ फॉर पार्ट वन नाउ हाउ टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन इन दी टोपोग्राफी क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू राइट प्रिसाइज एंड टू दॉइंट आंसर यू डोंट हैव टू एग्जैजरेट एनी थिंग ओवर हियर देन वॉट टू डू इन मैप पॉइंटिंग नाउ आई एल सजेस्ट यू इन मैप पॉइंटिंग दैट यू यूज कलर पेंसिल्स एंड यूज द करेक्ट कलर फॉर द करेक्ट पॉइंटिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर द माउंटेन्स यूज ब्राउन फॉर द प्लेटूज यूज येल्लो फॉर द कोस्ट लाइन्स यूज ग्रीन फॉर द सॉयल यूज द सॉयल कलर इट सेल्फ for the water bodies use blue so for map pointings use color pencils and when you are writing the map pointings say for example you are writing kolkata write it in capital letters okay so guys that was all regarding part 1 moving on to part 2 in part 2 just like topography you will have to write precise and to the point answers you don't have to exaggerate anything in geography now over here many students ask me sir whether i should attempt extra questions over here well i'll tell you that if you know an extra question properly then you can attempt an extra question over here i have already told you my preference for the chapter selection of part 2 so no need to exaggerate anything write to the point and precise answers and you can easily score 50 out of 50 over here geography paper is very easy and you can easily score 80 out of 80 in this thing now we'll move on to a few tips using which you can prepare for the examination to maximize your score moving on to tips for your preparation over here also let's go part by part part 1 first the best way to prepare for topography and map pointing is practice practice and practice the more you practice the better you will become in topography and map pointing from today onwards till your examination each week try to solve at least two question sets of topography and try to practice all the map pointings that you have in your syllabus each week that way you will be all sorted for part 1 and you can easily score 30 out of 30 over here I have already mentioned that we have covered videos on topography and map pointing. The link to those videos will be in the description box below. You can check those out; they will surely help you. Coming to part two. Now I have already told you the chapter combination of part two and my personal preference for the chapter selection over here. You can study six to seven chapters, and you will easily be able to score fifty out of fifty over here. Now let me tell you one more thing over here. This is my personal preference. Your personal preference will be the best preference for you. How to find your own preference? The best way to do that is to go through all the chapters from the beginning to the end and finding the chapters that suit you the best and you find the most easy. So try to do that and try to find the chapter combination which is best for you. But don't select just 5 chapters. Try to select chapters worth at least 6 to 7 questions. so that you do not face any problems while writing the paper now how to prepare for the chapters in geography just like history it's reading and writing the important topics so read 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 and write the important topics for each chapter in the theory portions also we have covered chapters worth 7 questions so i'll mention all the links in the description box below you can check those out they'll surely help you other than that guys i don't have any more tips left in my sheet so if you guys have any tips you can surely share them in the comment section below for the others to know i know you guys will do amazingly well in the geography examination so all the best until then this is rishi on behalf of reception signing off take care